Hello, Zebra Herd, welcome back to Minecraft Legends. In today's episode, we are continuing to knock down some more of the Horde of the Hunt, the little smaller ones, like we have the Horde of the Spore and like the Horde of the Hunt here. We'll definitely wanna work on things like that, but on top of that, I think that there is a village that might become under siege. This village will need your help Ooh. tonight. Maybe we can help out that soon too. And there's things like the Skeleton Homestead. The skeletons are brave, but they will not last long on their own. And this might be what we want to focus on first. So if we take a look at this one, this of course is in the tundra, a frigid contrasting landscape peppered with large sweeping ice waves and sunken hot springs. Home of the noble skeletons, the skeleton homestead is marked by a fierce skull that rises out of the tundra with a roar, occupied by piglins. So we need to go and help out there. So I think that's, that's what we'll do. Oh, wait, did I just remove it? Whoops. We'll get that done. Um, there's a couple of things I also learned about the game that we'll be trying to apply in today's episode. Um, things like I can actually control specifically which mobs I want to send where. So if I want to send like, you know, the melee mobs over here and then the ranged mobs over that way, I can actually do that. I don't have to send everything all in one spot. So that could end up being pretty useful. On top of that, I think that we could, um, focus a little bit more on actually attacking piglins with our melee move, because I didn't realize that the melee move doesn't even, are we going the right way? We're sort of not. Uh, the melee move does not damage buildings or anything. So we just want to focus on attacking piglins with it. Yeah, we'll run over there and we'll just do what we can. Um, it looks like, what is that? Something this, oh, there's some more piglins already, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. We're not even that far along the running of the piglins, so. Just sort of want to get rid of whatever guys we can like that, because Prismarine is a big thing that we need to earn up in today's episode. Um, we have a lot to work with when it comes to that, because there's a lot of upgrades we want to sort of try to get. So we're running through this swamp for now. If we find anything cool, we'll definitely have to get it. We're maxed out on stone and wood, but if we find any iron or coal, definitely want to grab that. So far, I haven't seen any. There's some green ooze over here. You can't really get that. And there's a lot of redstone deposits around this way. Okay, here's a lot more of them. And that makes me think, is there anything over here? Not directly, but there is some stuff here for the Horde of the Sport. Um, but we might as well get rid of some piglins along the way because if not anything else, they could drop Prismarine, but I think they mostly will just drop Lapis. Maybe Prismarine is just by the buildings. Not entirely sure, but fight you off. And I think we should keep moving. We still have a little bit more to go before we get to where we're trying to go. Cause now we're making our way into the more so like the tundra area. We're moving pretty quick. Oh, there's diamond. So good to keep that in mind. Oh, there's a little fox here too. Uh, huh. So good to know like what different resources we could potentially find. In the tundra, it looks like it's diamond. And I'm pretty sure it'll tell us on the map. Yeah, it'll tell us on the map that like diamonds are there, redstone in the swamp, iron in the forest. So, you know, just keeping notes on that kind of stuff is pretty important. Imagine we could just find diamond like this out on the surface as easily as in normal Minecraft would be pretty crazy. There's a lot of skeletons around here, which is to be expected considering, you know, it's uh, the skeleton's home over this way. I did see a couple of wolves too, which is cool. Oh no. Oh, something's happening. The poor skeletons under siege. Quickly. Is it too late for the skeletons? Do not lose hope, for hope has just arrived. And that hope comes in the form of us and all of our friends. So here's hoping we can actually make this happen. We've got our whole crew here. We've got a little wolf with us, so that's good. Uh, so I wanna get a little bit closer before we start spawning in some of these, but it definitely will be worth doing. Right here and then right here. So we don't have a ton at the moment. Apparently there's gonna be a way to uh, get even more of them soon. I don't have to destroy too many buildings, so I think we'll focus more on this. We have 63 piglins to fight. So once we get all those guys out, we get, we just gotta get going. So you now I can charge them that way, and then just get to fighting. We got a lot to stay busy with, right? So, getting everybody over. And we're gonna fight all this stuff too. Oh, we got the big guys here too. So we're already down to 50 piglins to defeat and it's getting lower and lower. So while that's happening, oh no. Okay, I see way over this way. We're gonna charge our group over there. While that's happening, I need to open up these cages, get these skeletons out. I wonder if we can recruit them or are they just gonna run away? Okay, they'll help out straight away, which is really cool. 
Now they'll help you free their friends. Awesome, sounds like a plan. So huge hordes of skeletons are by our side now. We are just going to keep going. It looks like over that way. But we're not quite done because there's even more over here and even more skeletons waiting for us too. Whoa, we get launched super high, but just gonna open this up as soon as I can. Down to 20 piglins to defeat. Got it. And I might just try out a little bit on my own here. Just to fight some piglins. Already down to just 10 more left to defeat. Come on, come on, gotcha. And over here, we got some of the big boars. One more piglin, right here. There we go, we got it. And I guess any other skeletons that are locked up are freed. That's awesome, so we're chasing the piglins away, teaming up with the skeletons. A job well done. And now the skeleton infantry is at our service, whoa. That was so cool. So, what do we do now? Now's Obviously, there's still some more piglins. Can do together. Lead them to the portal and watch those arrows fly. Okay, lead them to the portal. Where exactly is the portal? I don't know. Anywhere it could be. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing it around. Uh, I'm a little confused. Okay, well, let's not attack our friends here. Gotta be around somewhere. Oh, over there, okay. Um, okay, actually I keep getting the mobs mixed up. These guys are our friends. Let's get more of these spawned in. And then I'll do the same thing with the uh, other two. And we will just first off recall whatever I can and then spawn in a good chunk. And then also a lot more of these guys. We got, okay, a lot happening here. If we could just fight these guys off really quickly before we do too much more because uh, it's not gonna get messy, but I do wanna get some of the healers too. And then just sort of call everybody over. We got a lot of people under our control right now and we just have to go in. With that being said, are there, yeah, there are buildings to take on. Um, we wanna do that as much as possible. They might destroy my spawners. At some point, I just would have to let that be. Remember, I can't damage buildings, so we just have to let them do their thing. We have to fight off the mobs while that's happening. Okay, it looks like they destroyed some of the, the spawners over here, but they got rid of one of them, so that's great. Um, we did lose some, so I'm going to spawn in two more. And then same deal with everything else here. I'm just going to send it out there. Oh man, there's a lot going on, but we were able to destroy everything, so that's good. So let's get everybody over here and now focus on this target right here. While that's happening, I'm definitely fighting off the piglins. And ooh, look at this, there's more camps of skeletons to save. This would be really good to focus on too. So, gonna get all you guys to come with me here in a moment, but might as well swipe away at some more piglins. And ooh, they destroyed it. So, we're gonna go over there, call over whoever I can, same deal. I think we have a couple more friends over this way I can get the attention of. Same thing, focus on that stuff. So it's a lot of action. We have gained more prismarine out of this, which is nice. I think it really is from destroying the building, so. We have to focus on that when we have opportunities. But we're able to stay at a pretty high health here just because we have the healers. And I think for the rest of our guys, it's really the same thing. Come on, we almost got it. These piglins are tough to fight that, for sure. So we are losing more of our team here. I need to maybe back it up, sort of recoup a bit, a bit. just like that. I have a lot over here, but it feels like I'm definitely missing a few. So if I run backwards, oh look at all the skeletons over there. So definitely if I could, um, okay, call you guys in, spawn a few more, recall everybody, just like that, perfect. And then same deal over here, I want to spawn in three of those guys. Gotta be careful, I'm running, running a little low on iron, but we have so many skeletons over here that I should just be able to get to join me, right? Well, I can't really because my maximum seems to be 25. So while this is all happening, I'm gonna send you guys out there, get back over here. I definitely want to try to increase my maximum for the troops I can control because that seems to be a big factor in everything. So now we have another 21. My maximum is 25, I just really gotta keep that in mind. So 
as you can see what happened there is that they've already destroyed that. So I'm sending out this group there, and then this group I'm going to get back into control and send it out a different one. And this is where, you know, it really becomes real-time strategy, where we need to make multiple calls all at the same time. But look, while that's happening, even more skeletons are showing up for the fight, so I might as well try to get them to group up with some other things. If that means destroying this, then so be it. And I will try to fight off some stuff over here. We still have all of our troops over here, and they're really trying to destroy this thing, so if I could help protect them, it's probably a big idea. Come on, we're getting it. Awesome. So, with that done, there's still more buildings to work on, and there's more skeletons to save, too, so... I'll get this right here. Okay, come on, guys. <laughs> they just hit me right at the end of that. Really? That's unfortunate, but, um, come on. I'm still getting hurt here, so I can't, I guess, am I poisoned? I don't know, it was still doing damage to me, so I really couldn't do much. But, if I could just get the skeletons out here, and then have them just sort of attack, generally, I don't think they need to focus on buildings too much. Charge this general area. A lot of our troops have been defeated, so I think it might be a good time to go back and sort of recoup whatever we have. And then focus on this target, that spawner. Would be great to deal with. We've got a couple more around here. Oh, and the healer, still over here. Need to deal with that. Let's spawn in a couple more range attackers. But more than that, I definitely need the building busters, these cobblestone ones. Got it, okay, so we're gonna save these skeletons, I'm determined to. We have 23, okay, well that's not what I wanted. Uh, yeah, come, come around here guys, <laughs> don't go the way I went. Whoops, uh, and there is maybe a tower we can deal with or something? Yeah, right over there. Maybe I should've sent them to do this instead, either way. Um, they're all going in. We've got a bunch more skeletons and a couple more of the golems over this way. I think I want them to do some similar stuff. Maybe even way out there. Okay, they're going. Very cool. So, if I have skeletons like these guys, I want them to also focus on the buildings. This is going pretty well. This tower should be broken up pretty fast. I feel like, you know, we're really trying to figure out you know how this game works. It's going pretty well. Getting a better understanding for sure. Well, we have this big group. Send them over here. It looks like there might be a couple of extra guys, you know, just chilling out. And luckily they don't just sit idle. They still do help in some ways. There we go. So we're sending huge armies out there. And there will be ways to upgrade our maximum capacity of things. We'll definitely be doing that sooner or later. And that'll make a big difference. All right, so that's all broken up. Send the next group right over there. We're keeping it nice and simple. I want to destroy as many buildings as possible. So, working on that seems to be a pretty big idea. And then were there still a lot of guys over here? So we sent them through that one building. There's a good couple of them, so let's get this huge group of skeletons, actually. Yeah, okay. You guys will all follow me, and we are going to go way over here to get started with this building. Um, and we've done some damage, of course, another portal in this time too, which is great. Sort of just trying to do a little bit of everything. I think we'll all convene on this building. we will just give it everything we got. And it should break up pretty fast because of that. I hope. Yep, it's definitely getting there. I don't know if there's too many more buildings I want to bother with here. It looks like a lot of the skeletons are turning their attention on the other stuff anyway, so. Focusing on this. Whatever these skeletons want to do. It looks like they're sort of focusing on another portal. Okay, they broke it. That's great. We're gonna get over here, and I think it's time to take out this nether portal. It's already down to 30%. We handled this one really well. Now that I'm sort of figuring out exactly what I can do in terms of like what we can hold, manage, we're doing a really good job. So that's great. We jumped up over a hundred Prismarine here too. So overall. Really good results, and there's that nether portal defeated. I think the skeleton camp is gonna be a lot safer after that. Awesome. Diamond discovered too, you haven't found a new resource. Hooray, great job everybody. Really glad to see it. Everybody's happy and celebrating too. So, what's gonna go on now? 
Everyone's so sparkly. Oh, the LA's. They're building something. Huh. Is it another flame of creation? An archer's salute. Now that is a high honor. Very cool. So I think it's safe to say that us and the skeletons are pretty the close friends. The skeletons recognize Whoa. you as one of their own. As long as that flame continues to burn, the skeletons will fight by your side whenever you need them. That's fantastic. So as you can see, we can now make, and I'll, I'll try one right now just to, for the sake of it, um, as we go back in the tundra. There's some new enemies over here too, so let's try fighting them. But uh, we have a skeleton spawner. And I think that took some diamond to create, but you know, this is just to test it out really quickly. We'll definitely have to get some, uh, what's it called? Some diamond staff. <laughs> You know what I mean. Uh, some diamond resource managing. We can't actually, it, uh, what's it called? Mine it at the moment, but well, look at our full group here. I mean, it, it gives us more than we can actually work with at the moment, but you're yeah, really good to know about all that. Look, so, it's a frost tower. Oh, what is this then? I'm very curious. We run up to this tower, investigate, huh? Is this like a different mission? What is going on with this? Well, well, this old frost tower is still standing strong. Hmm, I'm trying to remember what I built these for. Oh no, they're running. Whoa! <laughs> Yikes. Oh, he's gonna freeze. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I don't think that was what I had in mind, but it'll do. That was cool. The Elaine's can help you take that tower with you if you want. And there are even more of them scattered all around the overworld. Come back to the well and I'll teach you how. So I can collect it? Improvement collect towers is required to collect the frost tower. Interesting, so I'm right here. I think it's already marked on the map, but that's good to know. Now this town is still gonna be attacked by tonight, so we should probably get over there soon. But in the meantime, we got quite the group going on here. We wanna head back, and I definitely wanna get some other upgrades figured out. So here we are, and let's see. We have things like gather iron already set up, uh, but we could do gather redstone, since we haven't done that one yet. We'll put that right here. Cool. That's great. And then we have things like gather diamond, which I also haven't set that up. I do not have enough resources for this one. That one require a hundred prismarines. So I have gather coal, we have cure nether rack, um, wake the firsts. And that's where I, I get a little curious. There's a lot to do, of course, but you now we have the coal here, nether rack, gather redstone. Um, and the skeletons. Um, spawn skeletons, long range mobs capable of shooting over walls, but are susceptible to, to melee attacks. Interact with structures, with the structure to spawn them. So for this one, it's 25 wood, 25 stone, and five diamond. And then also, you know, there's a lot more we can learn about here, but what I'm mostly focused on is this stuff. If the alley storage would be great, abundant alleys, the banner, I, what was the thing? Plus 15 mobs that can rally around you at once. This could be really good. We don't have enough prismarine. So just upgrading different things like that is gonna take some time, but this is why it's worth it to go everywhere we can. Enables you to assemble golems found throughout the world for a gold and resource cost. So we, we don't have the prismarine for any of that. It's just gonna cost 100 for each upgrade, I, I assume. So I think we'll go with, you know, trying to figure some things out here, but I'm glad that we could help the skeleton homestead. The skeletons are ready for another go at the piglins whenever you need them. Awesome, so I guess that means we should help out the creepers and the zombies soon enough too, so that they can help with being reinforcements and stuff. So really good to see all that. I wanna run all the way over here though, and try to help out this village before it's too late, because that could definitely be an issue. All right, so we'll want to yeah, run through all this. And while we're running through this area, we should see, you know, the crests of the landscape. We have iron here, diamonds there. Okay, cool. So I definitely just want to explore what we can, get whatever resources we can find. Like right here, is this coal? Uh, I guess not. It looks like there's, oh wait, there is. 
there's some iron there, cool. So definitely want to earn up whatever iron we can find. If we can find some other stuff too, like it looks like we need some wood and stuff, I should might as well, you know, try to get that kind of thing. Looks like I can maybe yeah, get a little bit more here. Not seeing too much more iron. There's a lot more piglins popping up, which I'm mostly gonna ignore them because we're racing against the clock right now. What is that? That's another type of piglin, I guess. They look pretty intense. So now we're in the tundra, so we could end up finding some diamonds. I think I might see some over there, it's glowing. Is that diamond? No, it's not diamond. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so. Running over here once again, ignoring the piglins wherever I can. Because they're sort of on the outskirts of their area. Like, defeating them doesn't really do too much for me besides, like, lapis, which I have a lot of lapis. I have near the maximum, 250 is the maximum, so I really just don't have to worry about it too much. Gonna run up here, though. Just gotta run, run, run. We're almost at that village. I just wanna be there and ready to defend it, because it's gonna happen soon. And this is the only village we haven't been to, so we'll be able to set up that quick travel, which would be amazing. So all these other types of piglins we're running into, I'm mostly just trying to ignore them, but it looks like the incoming horde of the Bastion invasion, the piglins are moving to attack. We don't want that. Oh, what happened to my, I thought, oh, I didn't put down the diamond thing. I guess it was just a redstone that I did. Okay, <laughs> whoops. But the piglins are already here. Village occupation, the village has been occupied by piglins and the chest has been raided. So now we need to defeat all these piglins. We need to um, definitely create some spawners wherever we can find the space for it. That should be enough for now. Um, Cause I mostly just want to get the little wooden ones. And also I can recall whatever might not be here. But I think I will charge some units over that way. Whichever ones are in my control. <laughs> like that, thin them off like this, and then spawn in more. So we can get quite a lot right now. All right, so do this, send them off maybe over there. And now we're fighting a lot of stuff, you know? All of our units are getting quite busy. So really, really cool. Only a few more piglins we already have to take out. So that's good. And all of our villagers are locked up. Partly cleared. The piglins are gone, but the fountain still needs repair. So while the piglins are running, I wanna open up these cages, and then we'll craft the things that we need to to repair these villages. And I do wanna spend some time, maybe in today's episode, maybe just more in general, but uh, defending the towns, getting things set up. So one thing I did notice is that you really only need to defend the fountain. So if we can just make a wall around that instead of the entire village, that's probably a good idea. So if I could maybe just get started with that, like even if it means, you know, creating a gate right here and then making walls around it. That's probably a good idea. So I think that's just sort of our first thing of defense that we'll be doing. This is make this over here like that. And we'll have to catch more wood catch. Uh, I guess collect more wood soon. There we go. And then just a little bit more over this way. They have that gate there, so you know, they should be safe. I know we haven't rebuilt the tower just yet. We'll do that in just a moment. I guess I should have done that first. Get a little distracted, but uh, got it. So that's all nice and protected. If we go over here, we can do the carpenter hut. I think that's what we needed, right? Not the masonry. Here's hoping. Um, but there we go, that should help this stay a lot more protected. And then everything else, you know, we have the scatter tower, which I don't know what the scatter tower does. Um, we can take a deeper look at some things. Uh, scatter tower, short range tower that shoots a volley of arrows at enemies that come within range. This tower can be upgraded by other structures. So I think we do want that maybe closer to everything here. There we go. And it's at 1% now, so it is slowly rebuilding while we're doing all this, so that's great. Uh, the village has been freed by piglin occupation, hooray! So things are looking a lot better here. We'll get that chest access soon enough, but um, I think for now, village discovered you can now fast travel to this village by selecting it on your map. You can travel as often as you like, as long as the village fountain continues to flow. So we're doing pretty good with everything there. Um, What would I need for this set? I don't have enough coal, gotcha. But we can of course make some longer range towers, because those only require wooden stone, and I have plenty of that, so if I wanted to, um. Just sort of get a couple of those posted up. Some for granted again. Oh no. Check out your map to see what kind of damage the piglins did last night. 
they're planning their next invasion. That's not so good. So we can use our map to prepare a response. I'll be doing that soon, but I need to get more wood. So that's what we'll have to do for all the villages, is really just try to collect resources and make them super well defended. But uh, in the meantime, is there any stone to get around to? It doesn't seem like it. I'm just trying to keep the galleys busy as much as I can. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Where are they headed to next? It doesn't seem to tell me. I'm a little confused. But, uh, of course, we could go to some of the smaller ones. I probably want to do that then, because um, those are easier and they give us a lot more rewards that we can use to upgrade stuff. So, you know, we've been helping fail to defend against this an attack. This an attack last night, but might not be so lucky next time. And that's why we're trying to rebuild it. So it just might take some time at this point. I think what we want to do is get all of our units together. Yeah, let's recall everybody. It's going to be a lot, isn't it? Oh, actually, not too much. Okay. Um, What I want to do is just try to take on one of these. So whatever one's maybe close enough to one of our spawn points. But this one over here, I want to focus on the Horde of the Hunt where I can, so I'll place a marker on this. We'll go to this village. We'll also grab whatever might be available in the chest. And work from there. Should be fun. So I think we're getting into like a better flow of the game and figuring some things out, but we get a lot of iron out of that, which is always good. But over there is where we need to go. So let's do this. And this is, of course, the, the forest over there. We're currently in the dry savanna and a red landscape of dried grass, stone outcrops, and small watering holes decorated with strange coral plants in the forest. Um, a landscape of sturdy, richly colored trees, winding streams, and bubbling puddles. So both of those have iron for us. If we just find any kind of uh, iron resource, we just need to take it. Which, right now, I'm not seeing any, but you never know. I do need stone though, and wood, just whenever. I mean, actually, no, I'm maxed out on both right now. Never mind. <laughs> We're good. So, we keep running out this way. I think I might already see it in the distance. We'll just run over and find out. Yeah, I do. Okay, so this is where we could once again at the least build one of those so I can recall if I need to, but I think we're just gonna send everybody out that way. It's a whole bunch of them. Um, and that should really yeah, help us get to work pretty fast, but I think I do need to make more of the stone, cobblestone ones, so if I could just uh, spawn four more in, and then have them also focus on that. Actually, never mind, it's already broken, so. We'll just go for the next one then. There's a bunch of little alpacas there that we need to help out. Poor things. But same deal. Focus on that spawner while that's happening. Maybe defeat a piglin, release this cage, and this should help us get more prismarine, which is honestly feeling like the most important thing that we could get at the moment. Okay, we'll have you guys move over here as that one's starting to break. Um, but then the rest of them, same deal. Get them over there. We're doing some pretty quick work to this. So these smaller ones are a great way to sort of earn up resources. We should be getting gold from that. Yeah, we do. It's like a little mining facility kind of thing. Um, so get that. Can I slice away this like taller grass? I guess not. Would be nice if I could, but can't really. Um, get them over there. Is that something to destroy? It doesn't seem like it. So there's not even that many piglins around right now. Like we got one over here, and one over there is almost broken. Come on, come on. You guys got it, great work. And then over here, I think this is the last thing. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else, so go for this tower. You guys got it. Got more of a group. Send them over. Anybody else that might be around? It looks like we have some skeletons that are just sort of, uh, they chill out in behind, so it's easy for them to sort of not know what to move to next and me to totally miss them. So if we get everybody over here and start fighting this thing, it's the last building, so it should be destroyed pretty quick. But we did a great job. This was actually really cool. So I'm definitely getting better at commanding our little army, which is, you know, exactly what I want to see. It's one little piglin over here. Might as well take them out. Ready? Gotcha. Okay, so there we go. Outpost destroyed, well done. You destroyed a horde of the hunt outpost. Cool. So try to get as many of my little teammates here as possible. Seems like we did a good job with that. So yeah, if I take a look with this one destroyed, 
what else is around here? Because I think just focusing on that, because we jumped up some prismarine there, not enough to get another upgrade that we need 100. So, it looks like this one might be our next best bet. So, we'll teleport back to this village and sort of just rinse and repeat, do that again. But that chest already ready and waiting for us again. So, I will open this one up. Oh, okay. So, I guess the chest will just refill, but it doesn't have any. The, the resources slowly replenish, so I didn't get too much out of that one, because we just opened it not too long ago. So that's good to know. Um, in the meantime, a little low on wood, so I'll do that. We're sort of running around the same area again, so if I can find any iron. Oh, okay, there we go. There it is, yeah, I don't know why, it's so easy to miss sometimes, but uh, And is this it? No, no, no. Okay, so this is where we can not gather redstone, but can't build on this type of terrain. I think that if I do this, it'll return Great. it back to normal. Delays are eager to start healing the world. How much resources does that cost? Anything? I don't know, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that cost me any resources, which is great. So we can, you know, really just get them set up everywhere. Um, obviously, only when I had the elise to spare, but that was a good start. So we'll have to keep working on all that soon enough, just so that the world is prepared. And is this redstone? This is redstone, but I don't have any uh, LAs available, so I have to wait a moment, because they're still gathering my iron and stuff, but that is really cool. So we know that the redstone's here. We'll come back for it, I think, maybe, because we have to focus on all this over here. So if I go to this, I think we'll do the same deal again. Um, oh, wrong thing. Uh, there we go. But you know, this is enough of a group that I should be able to just send them in straight away, especially on that giant tower that's launching stuff at us. Um, actually, maybe I'll recall some. Let's see, who does that bring back? A lot of them. So, send that back out. We're just gonna spawn in some more of the cobblestone guys. And they are going to work on that thing. While that's all happening, we can save some villagers. Poor guys are all trapped up around here. Got it. So that tower is almost destroyed. Getting over here, doing more of the same. Come on, come on. It looks like they broke that one big tower. So what I need to do is just run over there as soon as I can. I wish we could maybe set up like a queue of commands, like okay, destroy that tower, and then after you're done with that, move over that way. Because if not, it does become a little bit of a hassle, you know, to send them. You gotta run all the way back over there and then send them somewhere. Okay, so they're almost on destroying this thing. Uh, feels like there was more over here before. Now it's just this one guy. So uh, maybe I'll just leave him to it. Okay, leave the villagers alone. And then start going for this, okay. And while that's happening, a lot of these guys, they they did move over. And that's good. Because we're almost done with this one. Like, we're making really quick work of it. This whole fortress area, so, so far so good. This stuff always has a lot of health because it spawns in everybody. Are they stuck down here? Poor things. Okay, they got all that. Let's go for this one. And whatever other units are left. I'll get them to start on the other one over there. Um, this one guy is just in the lava. Okay, so they're breaking up this wall, this whole thing. Come on, come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Sent them for the wrong thing. Okay, here, just almost get this. There we go. Now we go here. And same thing with this whole group. Whatever's around, send them in. And this should be the last one. Looking good, outpost destroyed. Yet another outpost just totally dismantled. We get some prismarine out of it, enough so that we could get another upgrade if we wished. Um, and I think we'll do that soon enough. But in the meantime, I think we should fix up some more terrain. Just like that. And I think we should get some redstone too. Just because we ran by it a little bit. That was... Uh, back over here, I think. I don't see any other iron deposits around here, but you never know. Yo, it's right over this way, I think, because that's where we were repairing stuff. 
So if I get over here, yep, I already see it in the distance. I wanna get some redstone and another one right over there too. So we can definitely get busy with this. So, wait, no, wrong one. This one, this just looks sort of similar. And then some more over here. Got it. I think we're doing pretty fine on wood and stone. So I guess if we have anything else, I should continue to repair this stuff. Cause I'm guessing that once we get it repaired, this will just be an opportunity for actual salvageable materials to show up. Definitely take some time to get through that. Okay, so with that done, what more do we wanna do? We have enough prismarine that we could go back over here and maybe get some upgrades figured out. That'd be great, right? So I guess we'll find out. We're back here in the Fate Lands. I wanna get at least one more upgrade because we already got Gather Redstone. Gather Diamond is another big one, but I think uh, Flames of Creation. What would I need more of? I would need 200 Prismarine for that. Let's just take a quick look at this stuff. Uh, we would want the, what was it? The abundant LA's, LA storage. So many things here, but I guess this one, the Improvement Banner. Or would it be better to, there's so many options. Um, I guess this would be the best thing for now. And um, we have enough for it, the Improvement Banner. I don't think it's on my thing, on my menu here. So let's customize our hotbar instead of this one. No wait, there we go just for now. That way I can place one of these. It'll cost me 100 Prismarine, but that'll make it. So yeah, I should be able to get a lot more than 25 to join us now. I don't know exactly how many. Oh, there's some stuff here. What is this? Is this iron? It is iron, cool. So we'll get some iron there. All right, we're getting some more. We're doing some stuff. Really exciting. We'll get some stone and wood. But um, I think if there's anything more beyond that to spend today's episode on, I mean, there's still a lot we could do. Obviously, these zombie and creeper homesteads, I wanna focus on saving them some other time. I think we could go for these two, these other hordes, because we're getting some good rewards for it. So that's gonna be this way. I think we'll get rid of those, and that's sort of the extent of what we'll do in today's episode. I don't know if those crop back up eventually. I know that the bigger ones seem to be a bigger deal. So I wanna definitely chip away at getting rid of those soon. I think we'll get rid of like, you know, We'll save the creepers and then do the Horde of the Bastions small camp. And then maybe we'll save the zombies and do the Horde of the Spores small camp. Um, I wanna do the larger camps for sure, but we're just quite not at that power level yet, it seems. So if we can just get more backup and things like that, I think that'd be a really good idea. This is a lot of iron. Let's definitely grab some of that. I'll grab some extra wood and stuff. But I think overall we're doing a great job. We're figuring out the game more and more with each episode, which is exactly what I was hoping for. So I think we can, if we see any zombies or just any other kind of uh, mobs just like this. I hear that the zombie gurgles and I immediately think, you know, enemies, but not in this game. Those are friends. So now we're getting a lot more iron just because I'm actually spotting the, the ores and stuff, and I'm in the right location for it, but it seems like, speaking of location, we're about to reach this thing right here. So this is where we want to, whoa, one thing, get a ton more iron, and go for this. So I think we wanna just start with the spawners as soon as possible. And then I guess I'll fight some piglins, or if I can free some villagers, that's also a good idea. So, opening this cage up. I don't know if I get any materials. Yeah, we do. We get a lot of iron for that. Very cool. So, that's good to see. This thing is almost broken, so we can just protect our little teammates here. And then definitely send them after this tower as soon as I can. Just like that. And it looks like they're already doing that, but might as well reinforce that fact. Because this is almost broken, and once it is, Go for another spawner, right over there. And all these skeletons are chilling out. I mean, they're still doing stuff, so hopefully, you know, it'll stay that way, but save these poor villagers. Some of them have climbed up real high somehow. I almost got this broken open, and that will give me maybe, I mean, we're at our max for iron. Sort of good to know. Um, we can also, of course, increase our maximum. 
at some point if we wanted to. But nothing to worry about right now. Oh wow, they destroyed that real quick. That was cool. So get over to this tower then. Make sure that everything else is getting worked on. So these guys have sort of gotten a little unproductive. Now what we want, maybe we'll just get them to work on something way over here, like this. And while that's happening, this tower just crumbled. Amazing. Okay, so I think this is the last building. There's a lot of piglins coming out of it, so definitely slice them away. Very, very cool. And then once this is destroyed, I think we're dealt with this outpost, but we're not quite finished with everything. As we have to move over to our next one, right over here. So I'm just gonna put that on the mark already. Our outpost has been destroyed, or their outpost has been destroyed, very cool. And then once again, if I can clear out some of this, probably a good idea, right? So, just get these wherever I can and work on that a little bit. And while it is, are we making our way closer? I think we are, yeah, it's right over here. So this might be a good opportunity to uh, go here, spawn in another one of these. I know I keep just spawning in these, but mostly just doing it so that we can recall what we have, because we're not losing too much. And then we're still in the dry savanna, so we might find some iron around, but I'm maxed out on that, so, because it doesn't matter too much. So let's recall everybody. No mobs available for recall, so we had them all here. That's good. And then I just want to start sending them in. Oh wow, so we got more villagers to save over here. Open up that cage. Everybody else is trying to find their way up there. I don't know if they will be able to too much, at least not from that angle. This one's a little weird. What is that? That's a weird looking like, cage or something. I've not seen this before, so what is this? A chest. So open up this chest and I get inside. You need a piglin key to open this chest. Found most often on piglins roaming the world. Whoa. Okay, so I'll have to keep that in mind. There's a piglin chest here. I don't know if that will stay on our map or something. I prefer that it did, but I don't know if it will. Um, if we can just find a way to get them up there. I don't know if they can. You know, I gotta build a ramp. Okay. Uh, so maybe I'll just, whoa. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work from there. I might need to back it up a little bit. Uh, Getting a little confused on what I'm trying to accomplish. I almost got right there. Uh, it's not the best, but hopefully that's enough for my crew to actually get up there in a second. I'll save these guys. Also, the building didn't do anything. Um, what is going on? There we go. Okay, guys, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of an awkward one, I know. But if you could all just come over here. I can tell you there's a few more guys over this way. Uh, get everybody to come over. They might be trying to destroy it, so if we could just get them all up this ramp. Come on, go, go, go. Some of them are doing it, some of them are not. I, I really can't control, you know, which ones figure it out, but <laughs> that's the best I can do. So all that's happening, open up this cage and save these guys too. Got it. Okay, so it's working, slowly but surely, but definitely a bit awkward. Okay, let's get up here, destroy this big tower, and while that's happening, Right down this way. Yep, I got all this. Go, go, go. Get you guys to attack this next tower, because I have a feeling that's what we need to do after anyways. Uh, there we go, there we go. So, break down this tower as fast as we can. We definitely lost some troops there, so maybe while that's all happening, I can get over here, spawn in the rest of them, six more. Just like this. I'm gonna call them over, but then we're going to make another ramp right up here. And then you guys know what to do. Just attack this end. Because that tower has been busted, but we're not quite done. Can I just, it'd be really nice if I could just, yeah, just jump up here. Excellent. And then have them attack this golden thing. And that should be, between those two, should be the rest of it. I hope. From what I can see, I don't see any other buildings around here. So, whoa, got a lot more gold for that, and then if you guys can find a way over there, I mean, go for it. I don't know if they'll actually know how to do that, but that seems to be everything destroyed. Unless, like, this chest is an issue. Here, let's see. Oh, wait, there's one more over there. Okay, so I gotta get all my guys. Come on, come on. <laughs> this is so silly, but 
Get them over there. Which I might actually have to make a ramp. I didn't really think about that too much. Uh, dusk piglins are invading. The piglins are on the move. Stay alert. Okay, nowhere is safe. Uh, and I could use the map to see what they're up to, but oh, over here, the Horde of the Spore. Okay, we'll do that soon. But right now, I had this whole group, right? Well, this is just seven of them, but get them over there. I don't know what the where the rest of them went off to. I know there's a few over here, but let's see. Uh, there we go. I mean, it should be broken by the time they're over there anyways. There we go. That should be this one done. Outpost destroyed, well done. You've destroyed the, the Horde of the Spore outpost. Very cool. So, seems like overall we, we've done a great job. Um, we do have over 100 Prismarine in again, so we could look for another upgrade, which I definitely would like. I don't know where most of my troops are at the moment. So, I think what we'll do is we will not worry about it too much. I could go to some different villages and stuff and get some chests worth of things. Um, I don't know really what we're low on too much right now. Like, what does this one do? This one's iron. I'm full on iron. This village so, is at peace for now. Let us hope they avoid the piglins' hungry eyes. I mean, I'll try my best to protect them from it, but if we can get more coal from this chest, that is definitely something I want to focus on. Things like that. Definitely, I need to get a better rain on. But as time goes on, we'll figure it out more. Because, like, this one had redstone, this one had diamond. So I definitely need more diamonds. So we'll go back over this way. This is the one that's super well defended. Uh, maybe I should give it a bit more room next time, but that's okay. We'll open this up and we will get some more diamonds. So we're up to 18 diamonds. It's not a ton, it's slow going, but definitely worth it. And then after this, we'll make another upgrade. It is cool how quickly we can make our way around everything though. I definitely need to work on the defenses of everything, but it takes time. 74 redstones, that's gonna be our maximum there. Okay, so. Obviously, we'll want to increase our maximums at some point, but I think it's better to focus on other upgrades for now. Things like uh, being able to wake up the golems seems like a good idea. Adds a d four additional flames, so I think that means we can make more mobs. Ally storage, that could be good too. Hmm, there's so many options here, it gets pretty crazy. Uh, Shared village just links all village, there's a typo there, <laughs> links all village chests together, enabling access to, to all of them from any village. That actually sounds really good. For that, I would need 25 diamond. That actually isn't that bad. I think I might wanna go for that now because that seems so convenient. A weird upgrade to get, sure. But I think overall, will be worth it. Um, And to do that, I guess I could have, uh, I can't. The skeletons are ready for another go at the piglins whenever you need them. Okay, so I actually can't quick travel to the skeleton thing, which is a little bit of a shame, but that's okay, because we can just run over really quickly. There's definitely a lot to get sidetracked on in this game, in terms of, you know, just things to get, like, ooh, you know, go over here, get some stuff collected. I cannot gather this resource for some reason. Is this not redstone? Oh, I've reached a cap on them. Oh, okay, okay. So we'll just focus on getting some more diamond because there was plenty of diamond in the tundra when I was running by here earlier in today's episode. I just didn't have the ability to actually, you know, keep them or collect them. So we'll also have to focus on fighting piglins out in the wild because apparently we can find piglin keys, which are cool, but I'm guessing only the bigger, badder piglins are gonna give us that. So <laughs> good to know, right? So we'll just have our teammates fight piglins wherever possible. And I will try to find, oh, I don't even have the diamond collection. Why do I think I do? <laughs> I'm running out here trying to collect diamonds, I can't even. Okay, well, never mind. Maybe we'll just get the diamond collection upgrade right now then. So if we go to here, and I go to, what was it? This one, gather diamond. I don't have this one yet. Right? Yeah, I don't have it. Unless it, I do have it. No, no, okay. I just didn't know if I had it and it wasn't there. So we'll put this here and there we go. Now I'll be able to collect diamond in just a moment. Very precious diamonds. So that is so cool. I'm glad we could get that out of the way. I think we can see that here. Whoa, okay, yeah. So gather diamond. Diamond unlocks advanced structures and can be used to spawn skeletons. Diamond deposits can be found in the tundra and jagged peaks and then gather all. Gather all resources from a small chosen area. Excellent for gathering resources, rich areas, 
but not as efficient when trying to gather a specific resource. So that's good, I have that option there too. So I should probably reorder it a little bit. But we're learning more and more about the game. It's really cool and there's still some more to discover here like redstone launchers and protector towers. There's a definitely a sort of a tower defense element that I haven't touched upon too much that I definitely wanna get into more as we build up these villages. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Legends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.